What would happen if AMSI crashes? What would happen if Amazon crashes? What could cause Amazon to crash? Let's analyze the risks. As you know, I am all in on AMSI, okay, which you can see here in my Robinhood account. I did this with no money out of pocket, 150000 I wrote a check from an unused line of credit. Use it or lose it, right? As long as the underlying asset or whatever it is, dividend, yielding, stock, investment, whatever, is paying enough to cover whatever interest that may cost you, that is epic. Let's see where we're at. So, I started this around March 1st. Today is April 16th as I make this video. So we're in this a good two months. Now, the only amount that's really outstanding that's borrowed is 150000 The interest on that is $1,130 a month. You can see here that if we take a close look upon further examination, I've created its own account for this. This is outside of Robinhood. Now, this dividend, okay, here, was the most recent dividend. Unfortunately, I didn't have my maximum amount of shares yet. So I had about, I think, I don't know, they paid 97 cents. I was expecting to earn 69 cents a share, okay? It was epic. AMZ is by a company called Yield Max. It's a synthetic derivative. It does not hold Amazon per se, but it mimics well, it does, it's a covered call strategy, okay? It's going to basically attempt to give you all of the downside of Amazon on a down day, like today, and it's going to convert all of the upside into monthly passive income. I'm expecting now, now that my total amount of shares are in, let me explain to you, to get about 18000 a month. My monthly cost between Robinhood 6.5% interest and the initial loan at 9% interest, all together, all of that combined costs $2,200 a month. And you can see here my first month when I was testing everything out, okay, just started, oh, and by the way, my first, let's say from March to now, I have 29,000 that I've put aside out of my initial 150,000. There's 29,000 that's already been put into a checking account. That is the balance just for this fun experiment of money and profit. So when we come down here, right? We made the initial payment of the $1,100. The Robinhood margin, don't worry about that. Somebody asked me in, in the comments about what happens if you get a margin call. Everyone has great fear of a margin call. If you don't understand it, it could be terrifying. So I have a lot of shares. I have a lot of it on margin. I've practically maxed out the margin. Let me just explain to you quickly. If the value of my account would basically be cut in half at this point, if Amazon had terrible news and got cut in half, and we're gonna go into what can derail Amazon because I'm deep into this so I understand what I'm investing in and I don't give financial advice. As a matter of fact, most financial advisors are not even that rich. And so that's the measuring stick. Anyway, so when we look at this, let's look. My first full month of activity was March. I pulled out 29000 I only owe 150000 Keep that in mind. I made the first payment. I just put 5000 towards principal and paid the interest. My second now, keep in mind, I have 29000 in the account. It's only May 16th. I'm not due until the beginning of June, okay? By then, my next payment will come. Payment, as long as they stay consistent, I'm looking at 18000 So right off the bat, when we add this together right here, I've already taken out 35000 of 150000 How long do you really think it's going to take me to pay back 150000 A couple of months, bro. I'm not kidding. No spreadsheets, no nonsense, no nothing. And the spreadsheet phenomenon's going crazy. Make sure you subscribe to this channel because I'm about strategies. I'm not about spreadsheets and telling you stories. You can read your own prospectus. 
Okay, this is my strategy, my journey. I appreciate all your comments. I may get to some of them at the end. So today, Amazon did not have a good day and we turned from a positive day to a negative day. I have screenshots, okay, as the market had closed. The market's already closed, now it's 5 p.m. If you've seen my previous video on Yield Max TV, ironically, this morning, I don't know when I'm gonna end this one, but this morning I taught you about core number compounding. Okay, Oracle, don't say a word. I showed you how I was up. Go back, Oracle. Thank you. I was up $1,800 in the morning. Well, you know what? I showed you how I core that number off the top. That was profit in the morning pump. I took that money and transferred it from their pocket to my pocket. And I said to you, how many times do you look at your portfolio and you watch Ooh, I'm up $5,000 today or 10,000 or 1,000 and you just let it go by and then what happens next it goes away and that was money that slipped through your fingers because you didn't take action I taught you that in this video this morning okay but the whole thing is that the market did turn down and I did take that money and it was a great idea because look how we closed down $3,900, but guess what? I shaved $1,800 off the top before that occurred. You cannot tell me that core compounding is not absolute genius. Now, there are rules for core compounding, then we'll get to what happens if AMZ crashes. So, core compounding, all right? So, number one, I like to take when it's a big amount. This morning I took $1,800, for the sake of making a video on a you know three hundred thousand dollar portfolio or two hundred fifty thousand whatever okay you have to realize that taking small amounts like that even if you're there's a guy out there with twenty five hundred dollars and he's making videos and he's doing core compounding but he was taking out like twenty dollars thirty dollars no you want to take it out on it when you're up a lot like if I was up thirty nine hundred dollars yeah I'd rip that off that's like free money because if you don't look what happens it goes away so this morning I ripped free money off the top and this is just the volatility I care about what do I care about the dividends to pay off the loan now somebody asked me and they said in the comments well wouldn't you care more about margin like the margin if you got a margin call no I only care about one thing get that hundred fifty thousand dollar monkey off my back which I will do in a matter of months. The main goal is to pay that initial 150,000. Now, if you get a margin call, they tell you, look, you're below the buffer limit. And what we would like you to do is either send some money to cover the difference or sell some stock, some shares. Now you don't want this to happen, but it can happen. Right now I'm at low risk. I have a deep margin buffer. $148,000. Part of that is because at first I put no money out of pocket, but then, yeah, I had a Capital One CD. They offered me $2,000 to hold it for two months, right? Try to reconnect yourself, I'm talking. Anyway, so after I got the two grand after a couple of months, I realized I'm like, you know, this thing pays me like, it was like four point something percent, and then it was even less, so I got like, the last month I got like, I only had it like three months. I got the $2,000 bonus, which I threw into my free money account. All right, that doesn't count here, don't worry. All right, um, I got the $2,000 bonus and then what I did was I just got rid of it, okay? Because I took that 100,000, which was earning $400 a month and I put it here on the bottom. I didn't margin it, but it's money I'm not paying margin on. You can look at it however you'd like, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's pull up my Robin Hood again and take a look. So really, initially with no money, I mean, I have gotten, hold on. I wanted to create a little hedge here, okay? So I got like $430,000 worth of stock. Oh, this crash? I could have that as a hedge, okay? If the market crashes, the whole market will go down. Amazon and Tesla. And so crash is an inverse of Tesla, that's all. And it's designed to pay monthly dividends. Now, did I sell Amazon shares to get this? No, not really. 
Um, did I put my own money in to get this? No, not really. I did core compounding to get this. So I have this little thing operating for free. What I don't like about this is that it's a 100% maintenance requirement. If I ditch this, okay, and put it into Amazon, I could actually get a lot more bang for my buck because AMZ only has like a 25% margin requirement, I think. What that means is you can leverage more, and leverage is the name of the game, baby. So we come here, these are my two that I have. What I'm waiting for is the ideal moment. Next, we're gonna get into, thank you for staying with me, we're gonna get into what happens, what could cause an Amazon crash. First of all, if they crash, I could get a margin call. Margin call means send some money or sell some stock. Amazon is a great company. I believe in a lot of the businesses that they're running and how they're growing their businesses. Whether it's ethical or not, I don't really care. And this is Wall Street, okay? Let's play like big boys. And again, I'm gonna to get to some questions if I remember at the end of this. So I just wanna get this initial 150,000 paid off and then this, look, if it pays half the dividend, whatever, I just create, oh, everything just turned green, look at that. Okay, it doesn't matter, okay, because it's free money at that point. Once it's paid off, it's free money. The only thing I could pay for is about $1,000 a month to double my leverage. What does that mean? Keep the margin. If I don't even want 150000 is is paid, if I don't want the margin anymore, I have no monthly expense. Oh, oh, and look what happened in the after hours. Okay, let me see. Can I move that my finger? Yeah. Look, we're coming right back up. That's Amazon. Okay? That's AMZ. It's good stock. I like it. Don advice. Oh, and I'm happy I clipped that $1,900 off the top this morning because it's moved from their pocket to my pocket here. And then on a big red day, let me tell you what the magic move that I plan to do, okay? When we have a huge red day, Amazon and Tesla are going to go down. Guess what? This crash is going to go up a lot. At the same time, this Amazon is down a lot. I'm going to take this crash. I'm going to sell it. And I'm going to get a boatload more of AMSI. And I'm going to be able to leverage it a lot more because it's not 100% margin requirement. Okay. So that's all of that. Okay. So that's where we're at. That's where we stand. You can see all this. Everything's working perfect. Okay. If things go really bad, oh, maybe I'll make half the, um, maybe I'll only make half of the current, um, distribution, dividend, premium, whatever you want to call it. So instead of making 18000 a month, I'll make 9000 a month. Would that be so terrible? The main thing is building this asset from dust. Okay, that's what matters to me. So let's jump right into the markets. So Amazon is probably up in the after hours, but I don't want to refresh. I want you to see that it was down one29 Amzi was down less again. This is what you pay a management fee for. 1.29 down here. We're down less. Let's look at Tesla. Okay. Tesla was uh, up 0.51 today. And hold on. Yeah, I have a screenshot. Let's make sure. And the Tesla was up 0.61. I think yield max is getting better. Okay, in the next few days, you know, we're gonna have AM, uh, AMD, oh, tuh, AM, uh, NVIDIA, okay, and there's NVIDIA. They're gonna have earnings, all right? It's gonna be super interesting. I'm not into NVIDIA right now. I have to tell you, all right? I have a specific plan and a strategy, which I have shown you, and I am making thundering process uh, progress okay 29,000 in this account already next month when I get the other 18 so if you think look at all this I literally right here looking at the payment and what's the account balance I've already pulled out $35,000 just counting that not counting the the crash that I bought nothing okay again don't ever follow me because I'm crazy but 
let's say we have 29,000 in the account, right? I'm not going to, well, let's get, let's say, oh, oops, 29,000. Let's say that we get uh, the $18,000 dividend. Now you can never count on anything until you have it, but this is as close as you could get. I have $47,000 already. I got to pay 150000 You know how fast I'm going to accelerate this? This is why I want to get rid of crash, okay, and get more AMZ. Now, when we look at how many shares I had, let's pull up my Robinhood again, okay? Now, I, I do have, like, I don't know, just a tiny fraction less than the 18000 I had this morning because I clipped some off the top. But I'm not reinvesting. I am not adding any more money to this. And let me tell you, I only got a $14,000 dividend because all everything didn't clear properly and all that. And I didn't have the full 18,000 shares at the time that was the uh, record date. So what I did with the rest of the money, I bought it X dividend. If you're already in, right, and already have a position that's going to collect the dividends, it might be an idea to make your next large purchase on the X dividend date. It depends which fund you're in, let me tell you, because some of the funds do not recover. All right, look, it's designed for people who don't know, so you can't cheat the system. If it pays a dollar in dividends, the stock price, when it goes X dividend, is minus its $1 less. That keeps away the stupid people who think they're smart and are going to buy it, get the dividend, and then leave the next day and skate. So it's designed that it doesn't work that way. But when you have a good underlier, it gobbles that up in a minute. So what I did, okay, was I bought a boatload X dividend that brought me up to 18,000. I think I started with 13, 8, or 14,000. You can see it in my original videos. And I backed up the truck then. So I am waiting right now. I'm in a holding pattern. What could derail Amazon and AMZ? So let's clean up here a little bit. Amazon, okay, has been going down the last few days. Look. Now, we've heard, oh, Jeff Bezos has sold and, you know, he's selling shares and all that. None of that matters with these big companies, okay? And so this is, it goes up and down. It's to be expected. If I had to go longer term, I could. You could see how it's paying for itself. Do I have any fear? No. But why is the price going down? All right. So there's a couple of reasons. One is high expectations. They have huge expectations. You have to understand up until now, Amazon hasn't been profitable. Okay. It's been like subsidized. Amazon is becoming profitable. There is a beast about to be awoken. But this is all expected. Nothing I'm telling you here is new news. So the expectations, the bar, is very, very high. Let's compare Tesla and their past earnings. Anyone who is honest will know that they missed earnings. It was dreadful all around. But when Elon spoke and told of his future plans, I call it a story you could call it future plans, the stock rose up and there was great enthusiasm. What you don't know is leading into those earnings, there was a planned media setup, probably by Tesla itself, their PR firm, okay, to bash Tesla. Oh, this makes no sense, Oracle. How could it be? Yes. You see, expectations are set by analysts and everything for when earnings come. Now, Tesla, everybody, even the fanboys, go back and watch the videos, expected this quarter to be brutal, for them to miss terribly and the stock to dive. As a matter of fact, Tesla had hit $130 just a few days before earnings. Two days. I was there. I seen it at the open. Somebody dumped a lot. They knew what was coming. But Elon brought, brought peace to the people. Okay. But what was done was expectations were lowered intentionally. They were like, you know what? Things are so bad. All the worst possible news is out there. And I started noticing in my news feed that there were so many more than usual the day before earnings, negative, negative articles about Tesla. 
about how they were just going to be go to like ninety nine dollars. Just unbelievable. All of this was to lower the bar, lower the expectation, so Elon could just easily walk across the finish line like a hero. And look at the price. It worked. It worked. I don't know how much longer this kind of <laughs> song and dance is going to work, but it was genius. It saved the price for everyone because they lowered the expectation bar so low that it was really easy for them to achieve it. Okay? The problem with Amazon is that the expectation bar is so high, so high, that it's going to be really hard to achieve it. Okay, let's go here. Take a look. I love the way it bounces back. And, and the core compounding, tell me in the comments any questions or anything you may have about it. So if we look at the past month, okay, and, and my all time here, which is only like since, look, and that's not counting everything, okay? That's just this 13% on that money. Remember, I doubled it. Well, almost doubled it here, right? Down here, it's more than double, but... This is 150,000. Well, let's, let's not keep rattling on the same thing. What could derail Amazon? Let's jump in. I'm looking all over the place. I see this. Amazon Cloud, okay, is AWS. Massive. It's their biggest money maker. okay? Now, I don't know. Is something brewing? I read this little article. F fucking always trying to get you to log in pieces of shit, okay, for this stupid article. So the head of AWS cloud computing business, Adam Solipsky, okay, who was helped leading the company's expansion to AI toll workers, he was stepping down Tuesday in an interview on April 13th, okay, and that AI has not replaced any of the cloud platform workers. So just reading that, could there be trouble in AWS behind the scenes, and I had to dig deep into the curry pot of Southeast Asia to find this article, all right? And could there be trouble? We don't know. If it is, it's going to be short-lived. Even if they had bad earnings, it's going to be short-lived, okay? This, see, you never want to go all in on one stock. Like, if I went all in on Tesla, it would be rather crazy because... It's not as diversified. It's not. It's more driven by speculation and rumor than business. Okay, Amazon. You know, Elon makes a tweet. It goes to the moon. If if Elon ever stepped down from the company, it would have a devastating effect. If Jeff Bezos stepped down completely, nobody would care. Sam, everybody still shops at Amazon. Everything's the same. Okay, but anyway. So, could this be an issue? Maybe, but I doubt it. Okay, I think that by the time they have their next earnings, it's going to be just spectacular. We are near all-time highs, okay? We do have serious AI that is actually... See, I feel that everyone else's AI is fluff AI. Amazon has real artificial intelligence used in the shopping algorithms. And a lot of people don't know... Not only, let's say, we even have our own Netflix, Amazon Prime. We have own UPS and FedEx, okay? We took over the delivery of it all. Now, there are some little lawsuits that are being squashed, okay? You probably won't even hear about it, where some states and stuff are suing Amazon for basically being a monopoly on the world, okay? What kind of effect is that going to have? I don't think much at all. Okay, you can go do your own research. Does this sway my investment in any way? Do I think that AMZ is bad? No. Do I think, do I have any loss of faith in Amazon or my plan? None whatsoever. I just wanted to know, why is the price stop, why is the price stop going up every day? Okay, and having a few down days. Well, it's natural fluctuate. Remember, I have plenty of room to groove and... This is going to pump back up as we get close to the next earnings again because everybody is more excited about this company than just about anything else when it comes to earnings. I mean, it's right up there with NVIDIA, all of them. 
So that's what happens if AMZ, if Amazon crashes, if they miss earnings, which I doubt, if AWS doesn't meet the expect. See, the thing is, the expectations are so high that we're going to have to really overcompensate for those expectations. Watch. So, August. Okay, so we have time, number one. Okay. And let me see if I could see here. Well, that don't help me. Anyway, so I feel totally confident, people, what could happen. First of all, don't follow me. But people are saying, oh, what could happen with Amazon? And what if this, what if that? And I was like, well, why is the price going down? I'm looking for a catalyst. There's nothing. They just spent $8 billion. Okay, that could be it, that people are concerned. Okay, to expand into Europe and a whole bunch of other countries. Not a big deal. Okay, so Amazon Cloud Division head unexpectedly steps down. What could that mean? Could mean anything. Could mean his dick fell off. I have no idea. Does it concern me? No. Now you know my plan. Should we check some comments? I'll tell you what. I'll be right back. We'll check some comments. We'll make it extra long. I hope you enjoy these videos podcast style. So as you drive to work like this stiff dick, okay, or the other weak dick retired on dividends, you can listen to me. Since we're all enjoying this extended version, it's like a Marvel ending with bonus features. You probably never noticed this, but you should read this about the old paradigm of dividend stocks being over. Normally, I read comments from this clown from my YouTube studio app. But once I reply to the comments, okay, then, well, they disappear. So how far back do we want to start with reading comments? I say we go back 10 days ago. We'll start our journey here. No, nope, we're going to go back here where I first started. Every day, we're going to knock out a video and read all the comments. I'm going to try to reply to everyone. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so, AMZ, the way to go, or uh, Oracle using other people's money. Ha, 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 he, he, he. I need money today, not tomorrow. People like that. With nav deterioration, it will take 17 months to make all the shares free. Paying interest on margin will probably take you longer. Not sure why you would margin if you don't need it. I, I just covered all that, but look, the point of using margin on this is to prove that I can do this with no money out of my pocket. Elon Musk could have bought X or Twitter, but he financed it. Other people's money is epic. Yo, this is so effing epic. Subscribe. Welcome, Whiskey Dancer. Jordan, Mike. Damn. Your new name is Cashflow. I'm going to be on some show Friday night called Cashflow Kings. Anyway, by the time you see this, it might be Friday night. I might air this tomorrow. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's go. How do you feel about using your strategy 401k? I have 20 years to wait. Um, I'm not dealing with that. When the dividend pays, does the margin debt consume it all? Or can you take the profit? You can take all of the dividend if you want to, you can withdraw it all. Okay. Thank you for this video. Make it interesting. Good free money stocks, blah, blah, blah. Wow. Back to back. What do I think about Coney? Uh, it's too reliant on Bitcoin. Okay. Too volatile. Oh my God. I'm tired of this already. All right. So we will read more of your comments. I don't know. Look, I don't know how I came across your channel, but I'm subbed. You funny as shit. Son of a bitch. I've been watching. What are you trying to sound funny? Funny like how? Like what? Do I come off as funny to you? I'm supposed to be talking about finance. I come off as funny. Hmm. Using OPM. OPP. Hey, you know me. The real wolf of trading. Spread all over the place like peanut butter jelly. Anyone stumbling? Observer and She's observing me. To anyone stumbling, these videos should come to the right place. Epic enlightenment. Go ahead. I found your page. I got 106,000 on YMAX and 5,186 shares. Epic. I will be moving on from just AMSI. First goal, pay that money back. All right, we did that video with the Lambos. 
We're up to the sandwich dividend, the Tesla sandwich, which I didn't do. I just, I did the vegan version. All right, talk about vegan. Talk about ugly. Talk about I am Groot. I am Groot. Doesn't Kathy Woods look like I am Groot? She really does. And the irony that her last, even her hand looks like it's made. Look at her hand. Look at her wrist. It looks like vines of a tree, right? You don't know who Groot is? Look at her hand. It looks like vines of a tree. Look at her neck. Take a good look. Let me leave you with this. Kathy Woods. Groot. Kathy Woods. Groot. I am Groot. I am out. Kathy Woods is Groot.